On this episode of New Salts, I install new spinnaker sheets, rig and hoist a spinnaker, install a new spinnaker pole ring, patch the spinnaker, and install new winch cleats. I'm Anna, and this is Ignacio. We, along with our daughter Elena and our pup Bay, are the New Salt Selling Crew. We are DIYers with a growing appetite for big adventure. Our goal is to DIY and trade our way up to a blue water worthy boat and set sail on an adventure by sea. We are new to selling and plan to develop our selling skills along the way. Subscribe to stay up to date with our progress and adventures. Alright, so the spinnaker sheets are cut. They're about two and a half times the length of the boat. Uh, they're actually just over that, but that's exactly the amount of line I had left. So. Uh, that's what I cut it as. So I'm gonna run these through the below deck uh, block system. I need to put some uh, little pieces of clear plastic hose on a couple protruding pieces of hardware so that the line doesn't rub against it. I'll uh, I'll film that for you guys. So yeah, we'll uh, I'm gonna feed these through the back blocks and then I'm gonna crawl up each side and cap off any hardware that might uh, interfere and then feed it back up through the the front block going to the winch. All right, so we're in the boat here. Um, so this, uh, like I was saying, the spinnaker sheeting system on this uh, boat, somebody set it up with a below deck block. So the line actually goes to the transom, down in, into the cabin area, up forward, out of another uh, through hole block, and then back to the winches. That, that allows you to winch from the forward part of the or adjust the sheets from the forward part of the cockpit uh, while having the spinnaker sheet as far aft as possible. So um, the problem with this is there's some hardware that sticks through the gunnels where, where these blocks are mounted. So the path, although it's fairly straight, does have uh, some hardware that gets real close to the track. So I've got some two different sizes of hose, uh, clear plastic hose that I'm going to thread onto the, uh, the concerning hardware so that we don't have to worry about the uh, the sheet chafing on any of that. So tubing. So I'm going to try to slice this tube all the way down without cutting myself, hopefully. And all right, so I don't cut myself. I'm going to go into the shop, get a razor blade, cut this, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Got them all trimmed. Did three for the other side as well. See how this works. Should work fine. Just gotta find which side these are gonna lie on them. I need to adjust this one. Alright, so I'm going to go to the rear hatch and see if, how far I can throw that line up, see if I can get it all the way through here. Alright, got it just far enough. So it's tangled around this boat hook laying down here. work. It's time to figure eight not on here so it doesn't fall back through. This side's good. Move over to the other side do the same thing. Alright so that got cut out because the GoPro is getting hot so uh, I'm gonna go 
stick the GoPro in the sink, see if she'll cool off. All right, apparently you guys got this GoPro too hot, so you're going in. Y'all are about due for battery change now. Wow, we went from 8% up to 12, so looks like uh, battery's a little warm. GoPro feels much cooler, so anyway, change the battery out and get back to it. After completing the new sheet install, it was time to hoist the spinnaker so we could fit the mast with a D-ring. The boat came with a spinnaker pole, but no D-ring was installed in the mast. supposed to happen is like if the wind's coming from that direction the main sail would be out on this side right and then that that pole this open especially in really light winds. Tight, on tighten side. this tighten this sheet up, yeah. Which one? This side. This? They, yeah they call it a sheet. But th there's not enough wind here to keep it open. But they say they say like three miles an hour. Hey. Hey. Our spinnaker had two small tears in it. Using some old sail repair tape that I found under the floor of the boat, I patched the sail, and so far it's held up great. The last project for this video is installing new jam cleats behind the winches. Using the standard cleats worked, but was not very quick, and made single handing the boat very difficult.
In our upcoming episodes, we rebuild the winches and go for a light wind sail on Lake Conroe to test our progress. This will be our first time sailing without an experienced sailor on board. During the sail, we make a mess out of the spinnaker. We also find even more improvement projects to add to our ever-growing list. If you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends.